Hi everyone, it's Chris here from Better Music and I'm here with the lovely Brian from Arturia. He's, Hi Chris. How are you going Brian? Very well thanks, nice to be here. Have a good flight over? Wonderful, even better now that I'm here with you. <laughs> oh gosh, I'd say the French are flirty but he's not even French. I'm with Arturia <laughs> but I'm not French, I'm yeah, based no. in the UK. Yeah, you're free, you're you, some of the French is rubbing off on it you, though. It certainly is. Yeah. Um, anyway, mate, um, tell us about the new Keylab 49 Mark II. Yeah, so this is it. This is the Keylab Mark II range from Arturia. New range of controller keyboards comes in a 49 key yeah. version and also a 61 key version. Yeah. Both are available in black and in white. So you've got a nice bit of choice to see which uh, fits in your living room yes, or in yes, your studio. Yes. Quite a few good features about this controller keyboard. Just before we go any further, when Brian first said to me, well actually when, I, when it was announced, the Keylab Mark II, um, I nearly went to sleep because I went another controller keyboard and yeah, like I'm just saying it makes me a little bit drowsy. but. Wait until you see what these can do. You can do some really good things. Yeah, you're right, right. in saying yeah, that. And controller keyboards are quite boring products yeah, yeah. because really what they've been designed to do is you plug them into yeah. your computer and it controls yes, virtual yes, instruments. Yes. Um, and we know that, but we also knew that there were a lot of things we wanted to do to make life easier for the home studio or the stage yeah, person. Yeah. But the most important starting point is the feel of the keyboard. So you'll see it's solid metal yeah, construction. Yeah, metal. You carried Heavy. it earlier, it's yeah. pretty weighty. Yeah. Um, but it's the key bed. So we use our Profil key bed. Yeah. It's exactly the same key bed that you'll find in the Matrix Brute synthesizer. So it's a very nice responsive synth action key bed. Uh, like I said before, solid construction. So if you want to use this live, if you want to take it on tour, yeah. throw it in the yeah. back of the car and it's pretty solid. It's or in the back of the ute here in Australia. Yeah, the that's the ute. one. <laughs> you can fit a few in the back there. And the next thing is all about having everything there ready for you to use. So I've got my laptop over there, but the great thing is I don't even have to look at it. I don't need to touch it. I can control pretty much everything I want to directly yeah. from the surface here. So let's start off by using the analog lab button that you can yep, see yep. right here. Yep. So when you get this controller keyboard, it ships with the full version of Arturia's Analog, analog Lab 3 software. So that includes over 6,500 sounds from the V Collection yes, bundle. Yep. So V Collection 6 has got 21 instruments in there yes, with yep. a whole bunch of sounds. We've kind of taken what we think are the best sounds of that six so, and a half so, thousand. So from from, from all of them, from so absolutely including the, all the of the DX7 mm -hmm. and the you'll get the DX7, um, the you'll get the Buchler, oh, yeah. you'll get the Arp, you'll get yeah. the Jupiter, you'll get the Mini V, and, and everything uh, else. And obviously under the sun. With, with the with the kind of key key features mapped automatically yes. to. Yep. Yeah, so the um, the features that people would use probably eighty percent of the time, yeah. everything's already there pre-mapped. Um, so once you plug it in, Analog Lab 3 picks this keyboard up automatically. So really, just to go through it, um, you want your piano sound. You've got it. You want to go to electric piano sounds. And you can scroll through the different presets. So you can hear yeah. you've got a different. Perhaps you want an organ. And all the way through pads, bass, lead, sequence, keys, yeah. and multi. So if you think of it in terms of a workstation, if you're going to play a live show, you don't really have to get a nice, big, expensive workstation. You've got the controller keyboard. It comes free with all the software as well. So if you've yeah. got a laptop, you can just take that out on the road and you can perform. And everything can be controlled. So let's find a bass sound by clicking bass. Yeah. Then we go to the preset, which is already selected there, and you just look for something that looks cool. Three oscillator fat. Got the 
the DX7 yeah, base yeah. there. Uh, how about we choose a pad? Let's choose that one. So just by turning yeah, this, yeah. so the analog lab has got a blue light, so anything that's here in blue yes, is yeah. going to control yeah. a setting in analog lab. So these are all preset for you. So, so, so if I was using, so, so this is, at the moment, it's set up as if you're playing live. Mm. If I was using it in my door, yes. DAW, um, it would would you still like so say I've got a an instance of analog lab mm -hmm. open in my Pro Tools? Would you still you'd still have that analog? You would lab? still have the analog lab going, but yeah. if you want to control your door, yeah. so you said yeah. you're so, using Pro Tools, yeah. so I will click the button that says oh. door. So at the moment, it's set up to control That's Reaper. See, I didn't even know there was a door button. There is a door button, yeah. um, but we're not using Reaper. We're using, you said, Pro Tools. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. That's now set up fully to control Pro Tools. Really? Gosh. So all these here, which are in white, so this is going to control the mixer section of Pro yeah, Tools. Yeah. So all these will control the pans and the mixer section, oh, yeah. and yeah, these will control cool. the yeah. levels as default um, of all those channels, and you've got different banks. Let's say we're using Ableton Live, okay? Well, any of them, but in this case, let's use that as the example. You've got your DAW command section here and the transport section. So if I click play, it's yeah. going to play yeah. live. If I hit record, it's going to enable record, stop, play, pause, yeah. and yeah. loop. So again, I don't need to touch that. But because each DAW sort of has its own little quirky things, mm. we've made a magnetic Ooh. overlay that goes over the top. So now it tells me if I hit this button, it's going to solo. Yeah, that's going yeah, to go wow. into view mode. That's going to turn the metronome on, and that's going to yeah, um, wow. undo. So you can actually, if you make lots of mistakes what like it, I do, it. and you need Control Z the whole time, or Command yeah. Z, but if you're using Cubase, there you go. So that's, and we've got others in the box as yeah, well for yeah. the other major DAWs. Nice magnetic strip yeah, no, there. Just makes it easy as you don't have to look at the computer screen to do things. Everything on here is MIDI assignable. So yeah. this, as default, is set to control the mixer section, but you can have it control anything else yes, should you yeah, want to. Yeah. This in DAW mode acts as like a jog or scroll wheel. So if you just want to, you know, scroll left, right, like yeah. they do in. in so, so if this is in DAW mode, mm. I am, I'm in Pro Tools. Is this still going to play a piano or whatever I've got selected? Or uh, that, that will. Yes. yes. Okay. So okay. it's only the control okay. sections. Okay. Okay. But yeah, as long and, as and let's and let's just say I wanted to play play um, NI sound, for mm -hmm. instance. Um, you would we, have we, that. We, we, would we leave it like an, and I wanted to use these. So is there a section where I can just go in that's like a normal? Well, MIDI you've got center? your user mode oh. there. So you've got three different modes. You've got analog lab, yeah. with all yeah. the sounds yes, are there yes. and they sound really good. You've got DAW mode, yeah. and then you've got user mode as yeah. well. Yeah. And as I said, because this is sending MIDI information, you can have it control your FX send in your SoftTube plugin. You could have it control the um, oscillator volume in absence, absolutely yeah. everything. Yeah. You can yes. have that yeah. pre-assigned. So when you get it out of the box, you plug it in and you're ready to go. If you want to do your own tweaking, it's it's there ready for yeah. you yeah. to do that. Um, so let's go back to the, um, the piano sound. Right, so we're playing a note there in C. But actually, perhaps I'm not a very good keyboard player. I oh, want, don't, I want don't. to. I want to cheat a little bit. All right, so I want this. Let's, to, pre let's to pretend. Play a, let's pretend, right? Yeah. So if I hold down this button that says chord, and I play my chord, so that's now playing yes. that chord for me, <coughs> which is really useful. If you're someone like me who always writes music in C because it just feels natural, and my band says to me, Brian. It, it is natural. It That's is the, natural. It's yeah. a very good starting yeah, yeah. point. My band says to me, Brian, we've got another song in C. So before I start writing, I can transpose it to something else, right? So you. So that's not C anymore. Yeah, but I'm oh, still playing it in yeah. C. So if I hit that button, you can see it's dim. That's what C. And that's.
that's now transposed. That's perfect. You've also got your pads here that can that's sending MIDI signals, yeah, yeah. it's playing the notes, but also quite nicely, it's got chord mode as well. And it shows you on the screen yeah, yeah. what the chords are. These are chords that come as standard, but you can create your own chords and you can save them straight away. So lots of functionality. Right, so that's already a nice start as an overview. Just back to the analog lab quickly. There's quite a few things that you can do with the controller and the software synchronized together. So we've now got a bass sound over there. If I'm playing live, I don't really want to have two keyboards yeah. stacked up. I'd like my left hand to play the bass and my right hand to play um, maybe uh, a pad, right? So I'm on part one, which has got the bass. I'm going to go over to part two, and it's telling me to browse and load a preset. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. So let's click on pad, and then let's choose a probably quite nice one. So you can hear so in the it's background. So it's just layered a pad. Yeah. And then I can control the master level of that pad, because that's what I've got selected. In DAW mode, that will control the master level. So if, you, if you're doing a mix down, but you want to change the, the level within Cubase Logic Pro Tools Ableton, you just pull that down. But I don't really want the bass and the pad to be playing at the same time. I want to set up a split. So I want my bass only to be kind of down here on the first octave. I can do that very, very easily by doing that and setting the split point. So now if I play bass there, okay? See, so yeah, I've got a split. Yeah, yeah. That could be organ, that could be piano so, sound. So that's on the, so that's in standalone mode though, isn't it? Could that's you, in standalone you, would you, mode. Would you be able to do that in an instance you definitely you could really? do that. So you could do play that. Multiple sounds. You could do that um, even if you're playing live yeah, with yeah. sound modules or software from any company. You set up the split mode. That's a oh, very I very see. nice this, feature. There's new multi over there. So, so exactly. The, yes, yeah. I see. So yeah. and I haven't looked at the screen once. I know exactly. I've been looking at it. I know exactly it, what's going on because I'll tell you, it's been doing exactly what he tells it to do. Exactly. Good answer. And it's got magnets. <laughs> yeah. um, and one point as well that's very, very unique to this controller keyboard is we've talked about the quality, that it's robust, how it integrates with the various uh, software instruments, door mode and user mode. But at the back, it's got tons of connectivity. Yeah, so yeah. it's got MIDI in and out, yeah. it's got USB, yeah. but it's got CV connectivity yeah. as well. Uh, so while you're controlling your logic, and your analog lab and all other software, you can have it control external. So if you've got an old Roland JV1080 up in the attic, connect it via MIDI. If you've got modular gear, if you've got Eurorack, you can control it from mm. here. Because Arturia makes so, things like the Beatstep yeah, Pro and yeah, the Keystep. Yes. We've included that in the back yes. here. So essentially, it can control. So it's friendly to our, our Eurorack brothers and sisters. Absolutely. Yeah. Now. So from our side, it's the first full size controller keyboard that's got CV connectivity. Yeah. And it's also got five external inputs at the back for expression, for volume, for sustain, and anything else really that you want yeah. to connect into the back. Just Veering off track for a moment, Modular and Eurac, Brian, how geeky is it? It's so geeky, it's totally awesome. Oh, what an answer. Now, yeah. you can get very, very good equipment yeah. nowadays. Yeah. It sounds amazing. You can get equipment that's very creative, and you can get things that are quite affordable mm. as well. So, uh, I think people have graduated or are in the process of graduating from the software world. Yeah, yeah. They can, they, you can get a, a you can get a product like the Mini Brute 2 yeah, nowadays, yeah. which is a full of standalone unit, sounds yeah, incredible. Yeah. You get to know about synthesis by using that, and then you can, uh, you can add on to it. And I think, Chris, it's kind of the synth player's excuse, because guitarists 
add pedals and pedals, oh, yeah, pedals to the ever. collection. Yeah. So why shouldn't we yeah. be able yeah. to do that? Yeah. We do that with synthesizers and modules. Yeah. Oh, just just chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian, be where to from here? Any is there any final hidden features? There are quite Can a few. Can you play any games on it? You can't play games, but I suppose because it sends MIDI data, you could have it control various yeah. things. If you wanted to use it as a controller for lights, yeah, you can use these yeah, pads yes, to change yeah, the color yeah. for the lights by using the USB or the MIDI output as and well. And I have noticed also it has the delightful kind of um, 19, late, well, it'd be, it'd be like 90s style yeah of, well um, it's the um it's the a dis display <clears throat> like it's yeah it's like i can't remember the exact synth that i well there was there was it, lots of them yeah it's a little bit it's a little bit retro yeah, yeah we've chosen the screen because if it's totally dark and you're playing yeah, live yeah. on stage you get a very very nice uh, contrast going on there as well and it does the job it's got enough characters so if you've got a preset save that's got a ridiculously long name you'll be able to see most of it yeah, up there yes, as well yes. and that's something that has been taken into consideration consideration yeah. and and if you're someone like myself that has seen a lot and used a lot of synthesizers it gives you that kind of that that feeling of deja vu that I like so really to to summarize with the Keylab Mark II uh, 49 key and 61 key available in both black and white and they're in store at better music yeah, right yeah. this very moment incredible quality keybed exactly the same keybed as the matrix brute solidly built tons of features it's going to make your life easier you won't have to look at the computer you won't have to use the mouse to do anything yeah, uh, yeah. if you want to punch in if you want to punch out if you want to enable the metronome if you want to undo solo mute your channels so, so basically it's as exciting as a as a controller keyboard absolutely gets. on that note i'll finish off or we'll finish off this has been chris here from better music with brian and the brand new arturia key lab 49 mark ii comes in a 61 and a 25. no it doesn't, doesn't come in a 25. It doesn't come in the <laughs> well We've That's got we've got the mini on, lab mark on two. Second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We've so, got the mini lab mark yeah. two, which has got so, the mini keys. So have you, as as a company, decided that twenty five full size keys suck? I I don't blame you if if, if you have. No, you could, we uh, have we haven't decided that they suck. I think it's our customers yeah. generally in the controller yeah. keyboard yeah. market. They've gone look. Give me something with twenty five keys. Mini keys are good enough for us. Yeah. But, Twenty-five but you, key but you get, full you, size you, you keys. You get more mini keys. That's that's yes, the good thing. That's you the, do. That's the and thing. you so, know the mini keys nowadays. Yeah. If you look at the Mini Lab Mark II from us, the products by the other companies, you know they're small enough. Yeah. You can put them into the yeah. bag. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think got enough I, knobs I think there's been scientific studies done on um, with in in this modern age, our fingers are getting smaller and smaller. I was not aware of that. Yeah, it's true. Probably our brains are getting smaller yeah, and smaller yeah, too, yeah. So <laughs> which is why we're compensating yeah, with larger yeah. controller keyboards. Yes, yes, exactly. That's our exactly. excuse. Yeah. Well, on that note, this is Chris here from Better Music with my friend Brian from Arturia. And we've been looking at the Keylab 49. Comes in 61 notes and 49 notes only. Com comes in black and Elton John White. There's rumours of a glass version, but it's only a rumour, only rumour at this stage. See ya. Thank you.